Alright, so, before we head off to the Starforge, I do want to talk to a couple of people first. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Um, so you belonged to Revan, originally? Statement. Yes, Master. Mew created me shortly after you and your apprentice began your war to conquer the galaxy. I was sent on an assassination mission into Mandalorian space, but I was damaged and unable to return to you. Exclamation. I find this most distressing. I could certainly have protected you from the Jedi and your pupil's betrayal had I returned. I mean, it's probably better that it worked out this way. I'm not an evil dickbag anymore. Observation. You may be right, Master. This way we are reunited, and neither of us has suffered permanent termination. Um, am I very much like the Revan you knew? Observation. You are different in many fundamental ways, Master. You have a concern for life that is unsettling. <laughs> this cannot solely be caused by memory loss. I do not know how to explain it. Regardless, you do seem to be improved overall from the human I once knew. Thank you. Um, what can you tell me of Malik? Commentary. Your former pupil is efficient and brutal, even for an organic. I rather liked him when you first introduced me to him. If I had known what he would do to you, Master, I would have gladly removed his entrails right then. Don't worry, that time will come very soon. Um, do you know anything about the, uh, the Starforge? Answer. No, Master. You never did make me privy to any of the Starforge's secrets. How convenient. Uh... So, uh, why the meatbag references? Answer. It was you who programmed me thus, Master. Mm. Your pupil once asked me what I thought of him, and I informed him of his meatbag status. He was unimpressed. But you found the reference humorous. You changed my programming so that I would continue to use the term. It drove your pupil to extreme lengths of frustration. So no wonder he's trying to kill me then. That's, the, that's why he hates me. It's not because he's a Sith. It's because you called him a meatbag. So Malik was the original meatbag? I like that idea. Observation. Of course you do, Master. You did then as well. Alright. Alright, that'll be all. As you desire, Master. Signing off. Thank you, HK. Very, very informative, very helpful. But alas, we'll get on with our lives. Oh, let me see if Julie has anything to say. If he doesn't, then oh well. Got something on your mind, do you? Um. What do you know about the Sith? Bad, bad men. Women, too, to be fair. Yeah. Come on, you must know more than that. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich, also. <laughs> but don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. The Sith founded Subway. Jolie has confirmed it for us. Subway Sandwiches is run by Darth Malak. Um, you're being elusive. On purpose. <sighs> and just what gave you the impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? I mean, you did. You said you fought them. Oh, that's right. Damn the years of the young. I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when I mentioned that. Haha! -ha. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith. That was during the time of Exar Kun. Oh, 40 years ago now. Has it been that long? And, um, are these Sith the same as the ones that followed me? No, no, of course not. The Sith have come and gone for ages. They were not called the Sith many thousands of years ago, perhaps, but the dark side was always present, without a doubt. Oh, sure, occasionally the light side comes close to vanquishing the dark, but the dark always returns. The fact that Exar Kun was defeated didn't mean the Sith would never return, as they obviously have now. Everyone knows that. And, um, who was this Exar Kun? Uh, Exar was a Jedi who was... Corrupted by ghosts of the old Sith, or so they say. He attempted to conquer the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. Sort of, um, like Revan. I mean, you know, me. I assumed he was killed? Better to say he was defeated, but essentially, yes. The victory did not come easily, however. And, um, so tell me what you know of the Sith. What happened during the war with Exar Kun, then? That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. Hey, I did that what too! What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined him and became Sith themselves. Yep. Why they did, I... I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against the Master. We fought ourselves. Um, so essentially, 
everything that happened when I was a Sith Lord, too. Uh, th that must have been difficult. Yes, more than difficult. Next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? <gasps> I dislike such memories. Oh. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... Uh, it is a sadness I thought I'd put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. I'll come back in five minutes. Like Got right now. No, never mind. Oh, I get it. All right. And... I mean, it's not worth it to just go around with Juhani and hope that eventually I find the slaver. I was hoping he would come to us when we were on, um... What's it called? On Tatooine. Not Tatooine, Korriban, but... Unfortunately, Starforge system. This plan has no entry in the Republic archives. Well... Well, obviously, yeah, we knew that. That's why we had to go find the star maps in the first place. Time to leave Tatooine and head to the Starforge system. And let me say, it should be, um, quite intriguing. Oh, man, we are... We are coming up on the end, guys. This is... This is, what, part 32? I think this is part 32. I honestly don't remember, just off the top of my head. Um, no, I think this is part 32. I remember I originally said that I thought this series might last 42 parts. And I, at the time, I thought I was correct, but uh, it seems I was, you know, I was wrong. And it's going to be maybe more like maybe 35 or so. You are strong, child. But I will break you. I'll never fall to the dark side. You think torture will turn me, Malak? You are a fool. Torture? No, dear Bastula. You misunderstand. This is but a taste of the dark side to whet your appetite. Is he trying to seduce her or when something? You finally swear loyalty to me. It will be willingly. Never. <laughs> Such resolve in your words. But I see the truth in your heart. The dark side calls to you, Bastula. You hunger to taste it. Become my apprentice, and all its power can be yours. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Malik, you goddamn meatbag. Oh, there it is, guys. <gasps> there it is. High above the sun, drawing in its power, the Star Forge. Creating ships and droids from the very power of the sun. Quite literally solar powered. <laughs> Gotta sing over the music because of copyright issues. Gotta sing over the music because of copyright issues. Pop it up. Copyright. Pop it up. Pop it up. The Star Forge. I've never seen anything like it. Copyright. Pop pop. I'm transmitting these coordinates to Admiral Dodonna. Maybe a quick strike by the Republic can cripple the Sith fleet. Messages away. Now we can just wait for the Republic to show up. We should be safe here. We're outside their sensor range. What's that? Small vanguard of Sith fighters <laughs> coming in hard. Oh, Someone I like how it gives me. It makes me. Take um, those fighters out before they report our position to the main fleet. I like how it makes me um say what's that but they recorded some lines for uh the revan character because it's like oh i've been poisoned they'll never see me coming they'll have a shock if they step on this frag mine stuff like that but they couldn't record the one spoken line of what's that like come on come on we know he they hired a voice actor specifically for all of that why not just a few more lines it's not fucking rocket science yeah no i see them takes a few seconds for my screen to fucking come back on after the stupid cutscenes. Fortunately, they fixed that issue with with two. Damn it. Slow ass mouse. No, stop shooting. 
All right, good. Oh, it's the last one. That was fast. Nope, there's two. Come on. It's flying under my... Oh, come on. There we go. We got him. We got him. Oh, but that's not all. That's not uh, all. We've got problems. We've flown in some kind of disruptor field. All my instruments are jammed. We've got massive overloads in all systems. I'm picking up a single planet in this system. I'll try and put us down there. Hold on. This may be a rough landing. Technically speaking, shouldn't we have called the Republic fleet before we, um... Before we went to the system? Like, we had the coordinates. Shouldn't we have just called the Republic and said, Hey, guys, so, um, we know where we're going now. How about we just send everyone there right now and just fucking obliterate them? But, no, apparently that's just too complicated for us. Alright. We have made it to the unknown world. Now we just need to find a way up to the Starforge. Woo! Talk about your rough landings, Karth. What's the matter? You're flying like you've been on an all-night Theresian Ale drinking binge. That disruptor field fried our stabilizers. We're lucky we made it down in one piece. But if I can't find the salvage to make repairs, I won't even be able to get the Ebonhawk airborne again. During our rather rapid descent, I noticed the holes of many crashed ships scattered across the landscape. Perhaps the parts you need can be found among the wreckage. The Cathar's right. This planet's a technological graveyard. I saw dozens of downed ships out there. That disruptor field must have wiped them all out. But where could it be coming from? Even if we get the stabilizers fixed, we have to find and disable the source of that disruptor field before we can take off. Otherwise, we'll just end up crashing again. Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, that disruptor field could wipe out the entire Republic fleet. You're right. Oh, good that thing we didn't call them then. We must have some type of protection against the disruptor field. We have to find a way to disable it, or the Republic will be slaughtered. T3's picking up massive power fluctuations on the ship's sensors. They seem to be coming from some type of large stone structure to the east. It looks like some kind of ancient temple. Um, you all seem to be forgetting about Bastila. I mean, we haven't talked about her in ages, but yeah. We haven't forgotten about her, but we can't do her much good stuck down here. We have to help ourselves before we can help her. I only hope we're not too late. Bastila has been Malak's prisoner for a long time. If he can turn her to the dark side, she will join him and the Sith will be invincible. Don't say that. Bastila would never turn to the dark side. She loves me too much even though she refuses to admit it. I fear Bastila will find the lure of the dark side difficult to resist. She is strong in the Force, but she is also impulsive, willful, and proud, as you once were, Revan. Oh, alright, fine. <laughs> Don't call me that. I'm not Revan anymore. I'm glad to hear you say that. Now that you know your true identity, I was afraid you might slip back over to the dark side. If Bastila feels as you do, there may yet be hope for her. Well, if Bastila's on the Starforge like you think, Jolie, then we can't rescue her until we disable that disruptor field. The sooner we investigate that temple to the east, the better. We can probably find the wreckage of a downed ship along the way. And if we're lucky, we can salvage some stabilizers from it to get off this planet. I hope everything works out as smooth as you make it sound, Karth. Well, so do I, Mission. So do I. Alright. I think I might bring Karth with me, though, just to have someone... Have a ranged person in addition to Juhani and I, because we were doing really well. Uh, when it was the... The three of us before on Korriban. But I want to talk to Jolie. Hmm. Let's bring Jolie for now, and maybe we'll switch uh, him out for Karth later. Alright. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, it's one of those guys. It's one of them. I just saw him in the mind prison. Oh, there's more of them. God damn it, I think we're in another mind prison. And three more where that came from. All right. Yeah, that's right. Screw you guys. Just make short work of all of them. Yeah, just throw him in the air. I throw my rocketon in the air sometimes, saying, hey, yo, gotta kill them. But there's more of them right over there. We're gonna zap them with force lightning. 
Oh, damn it, who's that? You've been hiding out here? How long have you been here? Um, well, they, they attacked me first. How did you find this place? What, what are you doing here? Alright, well, where are the rest of your companions? Alright, and um... Uh, you can stay in our ship if you want. Oh, damn it. The Mandalorians are here? <laughs> God damn it. This place is a death trap. Yeah, no, we, we faced that on... We faced it on Kashyyyk too, yeah. No, they do that sometimes. Alright. Has anyone found a way off this world? Ugh, so... Mandalorians, natives, alright. Uh, oh God, I just want to get out of here. All right, just give me a goodbye option. Uh, also, to add on to what I was saying before. <sighs> With both the Unknown World and the Star Forge, my original estimation of 42 parts for the playthrough might actually be correct. It's definitely going to be closer to 40 than 35, especially if this is part 32 already. Alright, whatever you say, listen, I just want to get out of here, please. Finally, God, they left me alone. Look, a Gizka! The, the friendliest creatures alive. You stupid dead Rakuten. The only reason I know they're called Rakuten is because their names are above their head, and because when I was in the mine prison, I saw one of them as well. Oh god, another warrior. Warriors, come out and play! Just murder all of them. Just use your force in the lightning, Revan. Which is funny because even though I continue to say I'm not Revan anymore, um... In the lore, in the lore, Revan is um, redeemed and is light side. Canonically, Revan is a light side male Jedi, uh, which obviously is what I was going for anyway. I am doing both quote unquote lore slash canon friendly playthroughs for both um, Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic 2, so I'll discuss that a little later. But canonically, Revan is light side, and I like playing good guy characters anyway. Temple exterior, not gonna head that way yet. Um, where was I going with this though? Oh yeah, as I was saying, so in a lot of dialogue options I always say it's like, I'm not Revan anymore, but people always refer to him as Revan uh, after the events of Knights of the Old Republic 1. They just don't call him Darth Revan. He's Revan, not Darth Revan, because otherwise it's the matter of, oh well that was the only real name they had for him. North Beach. So we have the North Beach, we have Temple Exterior, and the Ebon Hawk. Let's go to the Temple Exterior, actually. I'm gonna head that way. So we've got Mandalorians, Natives, 
And we need to find parts for the ship. And a way to dis turn off the disruptor field, which they said is probably going to be in the temple. But obviously people haven't been able to get into the temple, so we have to keep that in mind as well. We need to find a way into the temple, along with parts. Parts are the easy part right now, because there's no shortage of ships that we can just find and take parts from. Oh, Rakuten Warriors, hey there! How you doing? You guys just wanna- you wanna die? Oh god, they've got rankers, I forgot about that. Oh boy. Not as bad as the big-ass ones on Taris, though. Alright. Just murder them. Kill them all. Oh, yeah, I'm dying a little bit. Let's heal up. Thank you, Juhani, for healing everyone, though. I'm just gonna heal everyone a little more. Alright, and we're good. Stupid rancors. No one likes you. Except for your Rocketon masters, apparently. And, oh, wild rancors. Wonderful. That's what we really need right about now. More rancors. At least the other ones were tamed. That doesn't really work for me, though. Doesn't help me at all. Oh, actually, no. I'm gonna... I'm gonna throw a grenade. I've got 21 grenades. Why not? And that's just my frag grenades. Might as well use them. I'll save my plasma grenades. Okay, never mind. I didn't want to scroll through all those anyway. I'll just kill the rest of the rankers. Because that or I'm just gonna have to do that later on anyway. Poison grenade. Thermal detonator. Concussion grenade. 33 concussion grenades? Really? Alright, fine. I'll use one of those. What do I care? Nope, that didn't do anything to him. Nope, that, he's gonna run away from it. Alright. Alright, you guys stay there, you fight. I'm gonna throw grenades. Nope, 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 don't attack, just... Just grenades. Just grenades, and Johnny's getting her ass kicked because Jolie's just not doing shit, isn't he? Don't worry, Johnny, I'll save you. See? I healed you up nice and good. Aw, oh, damn it. You just had to kill him as I was throwing my grenade. You just had to, didn't you? You just have to take all my fun away, don't you? Jolie, you're gonna heal us all up because you have full force points and we have none. And now it's Juhani's turn. Alright. So let's level you guys up. Granted, it would have boosted them to full health anyway if I just leveled them up regardless, but... Oops. Let's give you... Advanced throw lightsaber. Except Jolie. Treat injury. Actually, no. No, no, no. Awareness. Powers. We should give him shock, because he's very close to neutral. We'll give him force landing. He's close to neutral. He, like, he's obviously leaning more towards light than dark. But being neutral, he won't have as much of a... What's it called? Of a, um... Penalty for using dark side powers. Sure. Let's see if Jolie wants to talk now. Got something on your mind, dude? Um, do you want to talk about the war now? Not particularly. Too bad. No time like the present. I'm not interested in your demands. Come on. I'll tell my story when I'm damn good and ready, which isn't now, so shoot. No, I'm not done. Got something on your mind, dude? I want to talk about your dead wife. Not particularly. Um, you said you'd tell me later, so spit it out already. Such a... Charming and persuasive manner you have there. Forget it. Fine, I'll. Okay, here, I'm asking nicely. I'm not interested in your. De God damn it, Jolie. And you, on the other hand. My Cathar blood. All right. Will I've got two companions that don't want to talk about shit. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. So they said this is the Mandalorian hunting ground, so I gotta keep an eye out, because they might very well just pop out of nowhere and attack us. I'm just doing a, a scan of the entire area. Oh, here, I told you. Mandalorians, they're gonna pop right out of nowhere. So, yep, told you. Oh, come on. That's a lot of grenades slash mines that you guys are using. It's not fair. That's right. Oh, come on, I'm frozen. Come on, just let me out of here. Oh, I'm Han Solo. Hey, you, 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 stop. Don't do that. Just force lightning him. Light, lightning. Or not, all right. Okay, he's almost dead. Oh, almost dead, almost dead. It's funny because I can hear, like, the, um... 
What's it called? I just hear the Gizkas crooning as we try to murder everyone here. Journal entry added. Oh, nice. I guess we killed the leader. Oh, he's probably the one who was golden. Or, you know, in golden armor. Almost dead. There we go. Almost. Yeah. Nice. Mandalorian power shield. All right. Power shield and grenades. Mandalorian's head and assault armor. Not bad. Did the ones over here have anything? No. Okay. So let's just heal everyone up. Although, almost everyone's close to full health anyway, so it's fine. Yes. Alright, very good. I think I have to give the Mandalorian's head to someone is why it's a quest item. Otherwise, it's just like, hey, you ripped this guy's random... You, got, you ripped this guy's head off. How do you feel about yourself now? It's like, yeah, I feel... A little bit demented, now that I think about it. I killed him, and that wasn't enough. So I cut off his head, and now I'm just kind of carrying it around. And Jolie, hurry up, buddy. Hurry up. I really hope I don't have to pass, like, a, a speech check just to continue his conversation. That would suck. I'm so close to the end, I think. I've learned so much about him, it's just... I just want to do it. As in, learn about him. Not do it with him. That's gross. Oh, poor Giska. Um, yeah, I'm gonna turn on solo mode. You guys, you stay there. You don't follow me. Just making sure. All right. Quick, get the ship parts. Ouch. Ouch. Items received. Wonderful. All right. You guys can follow me again. Okay, let's go. And I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, so... Just gotta head over this way. Oh, boy. Yep, I see that. There's also a rancor behind this rock. Stasis field! There we go. Does that other one even care, or is he just kinda hanging out over there? Oh, no, he cares now. Oh, hey, I leveled up. Maybe that's all I need to get Jolie to talk to me. Because for quite a few characters, uh, the trigger to start their next line of conversation is just um, to uh, level up. And it's like, oh yeah, next time you hit a new level, it's like, alright, they'll just they'll talk to you. Skills, I'm going to put one into persuasion and one into treat injury. Powers... I'm going to do Force Storm, actually. And yes, it's going to use up a lot of my powers, but... I, a lot of my points, but whatever. Hey, Jolie. Got something on your mind, do? Let's, let's talk about it. Not particularly. Please. I suppose you're going to nag Yay! me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. Facebook. Uh, there's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Yukatis Enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. Oh. Um... What does your wife have to do with the war? My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the Force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that... Body. Uh, uh, uh. The war, please. Well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but... Not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another. Especially not one so old as my wife. So, you disobeyed the Jedi Council, like I did. I did. I wasn't the first and I won't be the last. The problem with self-righteous folk is they think they're more right than everyone else. I know. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. Love is she blind. loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. 
And, uh, what happened? Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. Oh, no. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi. To join her in Exar's war. Oh, boy. So, she had fallen to the dark side. I hadn't thought so. Not right then. I was too proud to believe that of her. I had trained her myself. I loved her. I pleaded with her to reconsider, to think about all that she was throwing away. To think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. <gasps> it was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle. But I defeated her. You killed her? No, no. I had her at my mercy. Disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. Sounds familiar. Seems like the Jedi don't like killing their helpless enemies. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me. And I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war. Oh. Until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death. Inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. They put you on trial? I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with a trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? Yeah, um, I agree with you. This, they destroyed my mind, after all. Um, yeah. But I deserve to be tried. They found me innocent. Oh. Even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. <laughs> For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. I don't understand. No, maybe you don't at that. They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. And you still believe love is worth the risk? I, yes. I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago, lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's I care. Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. All right. All right, sweet. Um, let me check the journal, though. Jolie Bindo. Um, you might be able to ask him more about his past a little later once you have gained more experience. All right, so he still has. There's still more to speak with him about. I'm essentially locked out of Juhani's mission, and that's my own decision. Because I did just decide, like, listen, I'm not going to sit around and wait for the guy to come to me. Because there's no way to trigger it. There's no surefire way to trigger it. I seek the Star Forge. Alright then. The settlement entrance. Ooh, what a fancy door you have here. I do like fancy doors after all. Hello there? Um, I'm not Revan anymore, that part of me is gone. I'm Ganic Var now. Yeah, I my mind was destroyed, my memories were lost. 
Tolpa të bongu alja gando dhe nago qëqë. Moga shaponka, bola wana qekne. Pa muli slimo, pora na wanga, kumbis, mule rabest. Ka qiqo i ta hotonga. Jim ki nku no ba muli ra qikon. Slimo po tona. Ronde a hotonka ku honka bi. You can count on me. This is a little overwhelming, I still don't remember anything. Tonga i wam qiqi ju ma lita ag inko tu. Tolpa ta bongu alja gando dhe naga qoqo. Ka qiqo i ta hotonga. Ju ma lita inko tu. Gjelo moral be një bobo. Wango kumbis kanba, molera. Alright, um... You could tell me who you are, for starters. Takom just tak miki grabber mogo. Ka chicho ita haldonga. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Moga shaponka, bola wana chekne. Pa muli slimo pora na wanga kumbis molera best. Tonga i wam chiki yuma lita ag inko tu. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Ka chicho ita haldonga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kangba, molera, ta kumjostak miki grabber mogo. Ka chichu ita haldonga. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Moga shaponka, bola wana chekne. Pa muli slimo, pora na wanga, kumbis, molera best. Tonga i wam chiki yuma lita ag inko tu. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Ka chichu ita haldonga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kangba, molera, shak shi kien lor cha wata wama. Kama volte mol cha gumana. Kien kun shakin, ne kien kun no molera jikon. Wama kumbes, chin pala mule tunera la pruta. Donke ser chi doma doma. Alright, to um... Well, I already found the parts to repair my ship. Um... I want to know more about you. Tell me about the Rakata. Ta kum jostak miki grabber mogo. Kachichu ita haldonga. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Moga shaponka, bola wana chekne. Pa muli slimo, pora na wanga, kumbis, mule rabest. Tonga i wam chiki yuma lita ag inko tu. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Kachichu ita haldonga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kangba, mule ra. And um, oh ho ho, look at the droid! Oh, it's just like the droid on Dantooine. That makes sense, though. Um, and what about your tribe? Rondi haldonga ku honga bi, wala kumbes, cheng pala muli ton king ba no kongkek. Tuk nin ta chokum, ne molera bes, ka chicho i ta hotonga. Yin king ku no ba muli ra chikon. Slimo putona, ronde haldonga ku honga bi, ta kumjostak miki grabber mogo. Ka chicho i ta haldonga. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Moga shaponka, bola wana chekne. Pa muli slimo, pora na wanga, kumbis, mule rabest. But you opened it once, you can open it again. Ta kum jostak miki grabber mogo. Ka chichu ita haldonga. Tolpa te bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Moga shaponka, bola wana chekne. Pa muli slimo, pora na wanga, kumbis, mule rabest. Ton hai wam chiki yuma lita ag inko tu. Tolpa ta bongu alja gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita haldonga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kangba, molera. Um... I'll just ask about the parts, cause there's no good buy option. Ta kum jostak miki grabber mogo. Ka chicho ita haldonga. Tolpa ta bongu alja gando de nago chocho. Moga shaponka, bola wana chekne. Pa muli slimo, pora na wanga, kumbis, mule rabest. Ka chicho ita hotonga. Yin ki nku no ba muli ra chikon. Slimo putona. Yeah, no, I found the parts already. That's not the issue here. Tonga i wam chiki yuma lita ag inko tu. Tolpa ta bongu alja gando de naga chocho. Ka chicho ita haldonga. Yuma lita inko tu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kangba, mule ra. Uh, do a lot of ships crash because of the disruptor the, the, the disruptor field? It disrupted my mind and I had a stroke and couldn't speak English. Ka chicho ita haldonga. 
Jumalita inkotu. Jelo moran beni bobo. Wango kumbis kangba morera. Uh, so if I promise to help you again, will you help me? Well, let's forget about the fact that I betrayed you already. Um... I'm a servant of the light now, I want to make amends for the mistakes of the past. Ah, come on! Please. I found love. I cannot prove what is in my heart. I only ask you to judge me by my actions. And, uh, how can I prove that? Oh. Yikes. Alright, um... So you want me to go there and kill the one? Alright, so if I save the prisoner, you'll help me? Or it just proves that I'm a really good liar and really committed to what I'm doing. Um, I'll be back after I rescue that prisoner. Alright, yeah, so you can just, like, run around and explore their enclave, but there, there really isn't too much to do here. I mean, I, I think there's, like, one or two people that I can talk to here, but that's about it. I don't even remember off the top of my head, to be completely fair. Oh, look at all the food they have! It's, like, the most food I've seen in the entire game. Uh, Alright, sweet. Let me just... Pass, uh, not Pastela, Juhani is still a little hurt, so I just wanted to heal her up a little bit. Um, yeah, there's a lot of unnamed Rakata that you just really can't talk to. Uh, okay, let's just head back outside. And I'm pretty sure there's really not too much to do in the enclave of, um, of whoever you're friendly with. Because you can side either with the One or with the Elders, and obviously the Elders are the ones who care about stopping the um the star forge while the one they're clearly the more aggressive settlement and they they really don't care what you do with the star forge at all if you want to if you want to use it and <laughs> be evil and be Darth Revan again they're like yeah sure whatever go for it we just want to kill all the um kill all the elders I'm like oh well it's very uh short-sighted of you can I return to the Ebon Hawk yes we're just gonna do that because it's gonna be easier um, first and foremost, because I can repair the ship now. Well, I can repair the ship now, but there's no real point. I don't gain anything from doing it now as opposed to doing it later. Since I still need to take down the disruptor field anyway. But traveling back to the Ebon Hawk and this area, um, means I can just run right over here to the North Beach, which is where the Temple of the One is, which is where I need to be anyway. So, how do you do? There you go. I think... I'm trying to remember if they will even <laughs> allow me to speak, or if they're just immediately going to be like, We saw you enter the Temple of the Elders. You're here to kill us. We're here to kill you! Because I can never remember. We're about to find out. Uh-oh. Yep. Told you! I told you, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, I told you. I knew it. I knew it. Alright. 
Everyone freeze, and now... Everybody lightning. Oh, well. I didn't even use that much of my, uh, force points, so yeah. I am really powerful, I like this a lot. Storm! No, Storm. Alright, fine. Storm! Yeah! One left. Stupid Rancor. You all die, for I am Darth Revan. I mean, I am Revan, not Darth. I am just Revan. <laughs> Juhani and Jolie got their asses handed to them that battle, though. And here I am, and I had full health the entire time, and I'm just being a good guy and letting them, and healing them up for them. Um, I probably should have let them use their force powers, though, because... How many force points do I have, for that matter? Let's see. So, 216 force points. Vitality, I have 203. I'm just waiting a few seconds for some of my force points to come back to me, just so that I'll have them in this, uh, in this coming fight. Alright. Also, I like how the loading screen was about how Terrace is, uh, decaying. Yeah, it's kind of completely decayed, seeing as it was destroyed. But, you know, whatever you say, game. Yep, nope, that's a storm, all right. There's a storm a-coming, and now you're all dead. Now well, let's, um, throw my lightsaber at him. And I am going to make a, um, a, uh, a double-bladed lightsaber build for myself as well, just so I have that option if I decide I want to switch to that later. Nope, I see more Rakita over there. Nope, we're just gonna sit over here. Let my, uh, force points come back. Are they coming back? Yeah, they are. Alright, because I wasn't sure if it was going to be like, Oh yeah, no, you're out of combat. We're not. Nice, alright. The funny thing is, they're supposed to be the, um... The what's it called? The, uh... The warlords and the... Savage group, yet they have computer spikes and everything. Like, how is that standardized still? <laughs> Does this really not open? Alright, so much for that. I didn't want to open it anyway, apparently. Yeah, that's enough force points, whatever. I don't need a ton. I don't need all of them back. I'll be fine no matter what. But we are gonna murder everyone. Get ready for a sandstorm. No, it's not really a sandstorm. It's just a, a lightning storm. But whatever. Yeah. That's right. I just love the death sound. Arr! Arr! Uh Time to kill all the Rakuten, time to kill all the Rakuten, time to shove my lightsaber up their stupid butts, bup bup up. I'm Rakuten! Alright, we got all these Foot Lockers here. Welcome to Foot Locker, where we give you shoes and whatnot. Alright. So yeah, I mean, there are a couple things in the playthrough that I missed. Just, um, obviously the end of Juhani's quest. Um. I think there's some, there's one side quest with Candorus that I could have done. Uh, it's just a matter of, like, um, the same way for Juhani and Karth and Basil, how people come up to the spaceport after you've had enough conversations with them. I could have done that with Candorus, I just... I really didn't use Candorus a whole lot. I really just used him for that one time in the, um, in Davik's base, and that was about it. Oh well, I mean, it's not a huge issue. Alright. The, uh, the one is further back this way. Hey there, how you doing there? I have no force points, so I'm just gonna shove my lightsaber right up your bum. Oh, I'm... <laughs> I didn't realize I had targeted the guy that was the furthest away from everyone else. Urgh. At least they're not super tough either. <laughs> urgh, urgh, urgh. Also, um, once you come to, um, I mean, there's a few different names for the planet. It's called the Unknown World, officially in the game. Um, in some of the books, it's called Lihan. L A L E. H O N. Um, it's also called uh, Rakatan Prime as well, I believe. I'm probably just gonna call it the Unknown World just because that's the easiest to remember uh, for you guys and for me. So, 
after the after you reach the unknown world, you can't go anywhere else. This is you're forced to go to the um. Yeah, he just doesn't want to talk to me at all. You are forced to go to the Star Forge after this. Otherwise, that would be a bit immersion breaking if all of a sudden it's just like, oh yeah, no, you you came here, but now you just decided, no, nah, I can leave in the middle of the battle that I started. So it wouldn't it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense if you could turn back at this point. No more. These these rancor are going down. You got a lot of experience for those rancor too. All right, come on. Oh, that's a lot of rancor, yeah. Journal entry added. All right. Oh, Jolie's down. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Johanny and I can manage. Let's be honest here. We're fine without him. See? It's almost dead. Good for you, Juhani. Good for you. Does the one have anything? Yeah, he does. Advanced med packs, cryoband grenades, vibra swords. Wonderful. 